Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be highlighting and showcasing a project that has been gaining a lot of popularity recently, and that is called OpenAGI. And this project is an open source AGI research platform, which is quite new to see as we've been recently looking at autonomous AI projects. But in this case, we're going to be actually looking at an AGI project. And basically, it is designed to provide complex multi-step tasks along with task specific data sets in which it can evaluate metrics and a diverse range of extendable models. Now complex tasks are formulated as natural language queries and are served as inputs to the LLM. The LLMs selects as well as it synthesizes and executes models provided by OpenAGI to address the tasks and this is something that we'll be like checking out later in the video. Now, before we actually get into that, guys, I want you guys to go subscribe. If you guys haven't, turn on the notification bell. Comment anything that you want to see in the future, guys. If you haven't liked the video, please do so as it helps the algorithm. If you want to support the channel by donating a little bit, there's a link down in the description to do so. And guys, I just wanted to say I really appreciate all the support and love that you have been giving me. I'm going to try my best to keep providing you guys the best content as well as making sure that I can improve in every way to help you guys out as well as providing you the best content to actually help the use of artificial intelligence. So it really means a lot, guys, for the upcoming growth as well as the support that you guys have been giving me. And with that thought, let's get right into the video. Like I said at the start, OpenAGI is an approach to creating artificial general intelligence that focuses on the ability to acquire and reuse skills. That key idea is to generate reusable domain expert models and can be combined to solve complex tasks. Later on in the video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually install it in a general idea, not go step by step, but giving you a general approach to how to install it for the people who do not know how to install things from using GitHub. Now in practice, OpenAGI also involves creating a library of domain expert models that can be used to solve specific tasks, which is why when LLM meets domain experts, and basically these can be each model can be used to design as well as perform a particular function such as recognizing an image which we can see over here or translating an image which you can see also over here and by giving it a description and executing that description to an image response now these models can be reused and combined with other models to solve more complex tasks and what it does is there's a step-by-step -step process which we'll be looking at later on the, with the white paper now, this project has been researched as well as developed from people from Rutgers University. So there's a lot of thanks as well as liking to what they have been doing over the recent weeks. And this was actually released very recently, only two days ago and on April 12th, of 2023. So here's a rundown of how it actually works with this flowchart. So basically, you give it a task description given low res res resolution noisiness blurry grayscale image how to return the regular image step by step so basically they input a task description as well as a text to actually help it prompt the system to clear that image up and what it does you give that data set description and later the system starts to plan by using gpt or llama or fan t5 or other models or llms to actually help you plan the actual specific task description that you wanted to actually achieve and in this case in this planning phase it looks for four different things colorization like denoising and different things like this that would actually help the image become more clear and it starts the model then starts to execute the actual process and the solution is then executed and this this is just a predefined model that is executed and later on you get the actual evaluation of how it actually turns out which you can see over here as it does a little bit more defining to actually get the best images by re removing the blurriness from the first image all the way to the next, last image where you get the output of a very very good quality image and this is just the gist of what it's trying to do in the terms of something small as a description task management processing system by translating images or translating texts with the use of images to actually execute certain processes now you can do a lot more than just like getting task descriptions to basically get your achieve your objective 
there's a lot of different things that you can use this for. Now this is just one small example of what they have provided and how actually using their model. So basically how the system works is that the synthesis of these models are put into a larger plant and is done by using an algorithm that selects the most suitable models for particular tasks. And this adaptability is a key aspect of OpenAGI, which allows the system to use effective ways to create and as well as reach objecti objectives in various scenarios. Now, OpenAGI has a potential to use its wide range of applications from autonomous vehicles, as well as robotics to natural language processing, all the way to machine learning. For example, OpenAGI could be used to develop a self-driving car that can navigate complex environments by combining various domain expert models. And it could be used to also in like healthcare maybe, or to analyze medical data or develop a personalized treatment plan. Now, this is something, another example that we're able to see. You input an image in which you're trying to get a description or a better imaging quality of. You, it outputs it into a certain image like this, and then it colorizes it later with by adding it with different types of saturations and basic like image detections to give the right color for certain objects. And this is something that's very beautiful as to what the system can actually do. Now, obviously one of the main advantages of OpenAGI is that it allows the creation of flexible and adaptable AI systems that can learn from experience and improve over time. And this is something that is a contrast to traditional AI systems that are designed for a specific task and it requires a significant retraining process to adapt to the new scenarios. In the paper, these are three of the big project aims that OpenAGI tends to address in order to achieve artificial general intelligence. And the first channel is obviously out of distribution. And this refers to the limited generalization and ability of domain specific expert models due to, their, due to their strong dependency on distribution of training data. This can cause problems obviously when processing images from desperate sources ex exhibiting a distributional shift resulting in an ineffective task solving. And obviously this is just one of the problems, but there's also the optimal task planning problem and the non-linear task structure. And obviously this paper is very, very detailed. So I highly recommend that you check it out. I'm not gonna be highlighting everything cause there's just way too much information, but it is, I'm just highlighting some of the important things as well as what they're trying to achieve. So I highly recommend that you're able to take the time to read it as it's very beneficial for you guys and it'll definitely provide you guys a lot of value. Now in terms of installing it, you're gonna require Python, this version over here and PyTorch. These two require, like you're, you're gonna be able to use these two softwares to actually install this. So make sure you guys install it, it's completely free. And what you wanna do is open up your compliant, com command prompt, sorry, I'm stuttering a lot today, but basically open up your command prompt and you wanna basically get a clone of this actual thing before you actually install the actual files. So first you wanna clone the actual GitHub link and that's by downloading the file by cloning this. And then once you're able to do that, get into the actual uh, open AGI folder and copy and paste this prompt. And once you're able to do that, you're gonna be able to start using the actual software and get a better idea of how it works. You're also able to download the pre-processed data from a Google Drive link. And I'm gonna leave this in the description below. And this is something that you can use to put in the root folder and then unzip it over there, which it tells you to do. And if you would like to pre-process your own data, please run the data augmentation.py in the data folder. And basically the raw data will be autom automatically downloaded from Hugging Face datasets and this could be used to actually benefit yourself as well as the actual creators of this so that they can get better data and better knowledge to help perform their or help construct their processor a little bit better. And that's basically a gist of open AGI guys. I hope you found this video helpful. I'm going to be definitely giving you guys more updates on different LLMs as well as different AGI projects. If these guys have another update, I'm definitely going to make another video highlighting what they're trying to achieve. And if you found this video helpful, guys, please subscribe, please like, and comment down whatever you want to see in the future. And with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, have a smile, and I'll see you guys next time.